Hello and welcome to Let's Build Hogwarts, the tutorial edition. I'm Lady Camelot One and together we're going to be building Hogwarts. For those that have seen my survival series, I'm building that exact same model. Only this way it can be done very, very simply without all the mining, without all the mobs and everything else. So it should be nice and easy for everybody to follow along, no matter what you're playing on. Whether you're playing on the Xbox, PC, PlayStation, anything. There will be no downloads needed. There will be no extra mobs or texture packs or anything like that. We're going to stick to really basic Minecraft. There'll be no fast forwards, there'll be no time skips, and there will be no world edit. The only two commands that I'm going to be using is time set day and the weather clear. If anybody knows how to set them permanently, please let me know because I don't know how to do that. Um, so before I start, I would like to thank Urban Warrior and Autohack, the owners of the Discord channel, uh, Minecraft Hogwarts community. There are links in the description. Those guys have done the awesome artwork that's all over my channel and the video graphics that you can see. It's down to those guys. So thank you very much, guys. It's awesome and it's amazing. Right, so for those that have been following the survival series, as you know, I've been building Hogwarts. Once I complete a section there, like the Great Hall, we will be doing a tutorial version of it. So this tutorial, we're going to focus on the Great Hall and the Entrance Hall. I reckon it'll probably take me about six episodes. I'm going to try and keep these videos to about an hour long in order to make things easier when it comes to passing them around to editing and to upload onto YouTube. So ideally about an hour. Um, so I reckon it should be about six in order to complete the Great Hall and the Entrance Hall. At least that's the plan. So let's get stuck in. First things first, I have created a very, very basic super flat world. There's no structures on it. There's absolutely nothing in there. There's no customization. So we've got one level of dirt and then another, and then another, bedrock, and then the void. So it, there's no customization to this whatsoever. Uh, let's put that back though, shall we? And some dirt. Whoops. And, right, so a very basic, super flat world have turned it on creative and on normal e difficulty so mobs will appear because I can't need them at a later date um, you'll see why when we get that far uh, but they won't attack at least I don't think they will <laughs> um, so I said we're going to keep things very simple so because we've only got four Everything that we're going to be doing is going to be floating, including the boathouse. So the landscaping will come at a much later time. But I will do probably several dozen episodes purely on landscaping as we get to certain points. It's going to be a long time before we get to any landscaping. So we want to put the Great Hall on level 70. So that's 70 levels above bedrock. As most of you guys know, that's that there. So that's one, two, three. So we're standing on level four. Let's just double check that. Yep, see, we're standing on level four. So we want to get to level 70. So we're going to build a big dirt tower to get us up there. So for those that can't get the coordinates on there, I'm very sorry, the best one is just simply can't. So, but we're going to cheat a little bit, see if we're now on block 5. For those that don't know what I'm looking at, I'm looking at several, the second paragraph that says X, Y and Z. 
So it's minus 82, and then 5, and then minus 170. The 5 is the height that we're looking for. So we are currently at level 5, and we need to get to level 70. So let's go on up. Obviously, you can start yours a little bit lower. You don't have to copy me exactly. You can alter it in any way, shape, or form. So I say you don't need to download any texture packs, uh, texture packs, or any other modifications or anything like that. But there's no reason why you don't have to. Why you can't? If that's what you want, go ahead. There's no problem with it. There we go, see, we're on level 70. Okay, so we don't need that no more. So, the materials that we will be using to begin with is stone brick. We don't want the infested one, we want normal stone brick. We don't need that anymore. Uh, we want some cobblestone and some stone. Uh, we'll probably need glass probably get to the glass by this point today. So that will probably see us for today for that. So that is level 70. Just double check. Oh no, I've taken screenshots. Yeah, okay, right, so that's level 70. You can demolish the dirt tower now if you want to. You don't have to. I don't see the point. It'll all be buried underneath Hogwarts anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so now we're going to do the outline of the Great Hall. So we want to go 33 wide. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. It would help if I could fly in a straight line, but it did. Okay, so that's 33 wide. So, better double checking. It's always best to count twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Reduces your mistakes then if you count twice, because trust me, I've made the mistakes before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I've had to rebuild entire sections because I didn't recount and check my numbers. So that's 10. 15. 20. 25. 30. And 33. So, might as well leave them up. So now we want to go 78 long from corner to corner. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Right, oh dear, I'm throwing things, oh, we're not going back for that. We'll get some more. This is the best part about the creative mode. I can get whatever I want, as much as I want, whenever, however I want it. Okay, so let's just double check that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77. 78. Right. Now we need to just square it up and have the meat. I 
I like putting markers every five blocks. It helps me keep track. Especially when I can't fly in a straight line. <laughs> Just set the time set day. Give us daylight. There we go. See, can't fly in a straight line. You think I would by now? Right, so now what you want to do is pick the front of your build. Where do you want your doors to go? This side or this side? I think we'll go this side, so why not? So that's going to be our back window. This is going to be our front door. So for the time being, I want you to raise up all the walls to four. So we've got two, three, four. All except that back wall. So the three sides we want to raise up by four. Again, you can use whatever materials you prefer. I know a lot of people seem to prefer building in standstone. That's completely fine. It's your build. You build it however you want to. I'm just guiding you. Well, and falling off at the same time. these walls Aye. where are we going I think we'll do the floor next so I can't keep falling off it This one, two, three, four. We'll worry about the doors later. You may as well just fill it all in for the time being. Because we're in creative mode, it'll take two seconds to do it. Dig out the doors. Sure, this version will come with its own complications. For example, we have to build rooms in rather than dig them out. I'm sure there will be tricky sections, but I'm hoping to keep things as simple as possible. But this build will be as detailed as we can make it. I intend to do a great chunk of the interior in not the whole build, not just the great hall. I have, once we've done Hogwarts, I intend to do other locations. The Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade train station, Diagon Alley, Nocturn Alley, uh, the Borough, even the Dudley House. 
we'll do them all. We have a new King's Cross station as well too, if that's what you want. But I intend to do as many of the locations as I can. Okay, let's get rid of those. We don't want to confuse ourselves. That's easily done. Okay, so that's our back window. This is our front door. So we now need to partition it off. So that's our great hall. This is the entrance hall. So we need to go 19 out that way. So we start in this corner and count out by 19. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's 19 in that section, so you're building on number 20. And then we're going to go straight across. these markers we don't need those no more right so now we're going to do the floor this side we're going to do in stone oops there there's it This will take a few minutes, this one. goes much much quicker in creative I gotta say than it does in survival although survival does bring its own fun I would be doing it if I didn't enjoy it so. if you haven't seen my survival series go check it out please <laughs> going down so we'll turn the lights back on let me just get to the end of the row oh, 
However, I kind of want to wait and see if I've got the settings right with the mobs. Because they will come in handy later. screen's lighting up because it just does tend to be darker than what mine is. I've noticed that with the survival series. Oops, there, it? there we go, that's better. than you realise. rhythm now, haven't I?
Right. Okay, that's the back wall. So we want to do this section now. And this side is going to be in cobblestone. what I get for trying to get cocky with it, isn't it? back on. Again, if anybody knows how I can do that permanently, I'm very grateful. Just have to check there's no clouds. my bearings oopsie right so we now want to focus on this wall here 
because the rest of your Hogwarts is going to go in that direction. So we want to focus on this wall now. We want to come in five from either side. It's one, two, three, four, five. Double check that. Yep, five. And the same on that side. One, two, three, four, five. So you should have a gap of nine in the middle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, let's do another cobblestone path. if you want to it makes absolutely no difference to be fair right so now I'm going to bring this wall out by another 12 Whee! so 12 on top of that so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve same on this side one two three four five six seven eight 11, 12. So from end to end, you should have 13. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. And raise them up by 4. By four. Boom. Okay, and give it a path. You don't have to go underneath the wall because that's going to be in the ground anyway. So I might go around and just do it actually, just it makes it a little bit more neater, doesn't it? we will. It just makes it a little bit tidier and neater, doesn't it? Right. So, we now need to go to the top wall anyway. So... Now we want the bricks. Now you want to put two to the top, space of two, and then two to the top, space two, all the way to the end.
Okay, does that look right? Have I done that all nice and even? I have indeedy. Same this side. You're only going to get one on there though, which is fine. We continue that one up. Okay. Same for the other side, but we'll just take this path up. There we go. And to the end. Switch to stone. It just makes it a little bit more neater, doesn't it? We probably won't see it later on. Especially when we do the landscaping, and there's the path to do outside around the outside anyway, but it just makes it neater for now. Okay, right, so you want also two turrets at the back. Actually, your wall that's the end of the wall. So, you want another two on the ends there, they're the end turrets. So, two there, have I done that right? That doesn't feel right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And the same down the side, space of two, then a row of two, two rows. Let's turn on the lights. Okay, so that is the outline for our turrets. You can see it's already starting to take shape already. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the cobblestone path. So we want to come out by five. Up by six. So go to a flat piece one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six.
same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just make them neat. And then fill it all in with cobblestone. Um, we have not got 15 minutes yet. I don't want to keep these I want to keep these videos round about an hour. do want to take that all the way around her. What we're going to do as well is we're going to stick some cobblestone wall around the edge there. Um. I'm going to be doing that a lot.
down to the wall but the wall doesn't go all the way down um, the wall I think we'll make level it doesn't have to be exact but we're gonna take it to about there because we need a bit of a path for later on so yeah that looks about right There's a lot of spiders down there. Okay, so we time all right. We've got time to do one last thing, and that's our torches. To start at the top corner and then every other one. doesn't meet to the end but it doesn't matter because there's going to be a courtyard that will meet up there and then every other one along the top And then down the side. Okay, we'll stick one more on the end there, just to make it nice and even with the torches. Okay. So, we're looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. Yeah. Right. I think we'll leave it there for today because I think we are at roundabouts an hour long. Um, so I think this will probably take about six parts, roughly, you know, give, give or take a part or two. Um, so yeah, okay, right. Next time we'll, we'll crack on with the walls and get those ro walls raised. So like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notify button so you don't miss part two. I'm not entirely certain when part two will be out, but it shouldn't be too long with a bit of luck. I should have a better timetable for you by then. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. 
and I will see you soon. Goodbye.